Southern Africa, he was treated as a hero because he spent time in those countries, building institutions, fighting for their liberation. When he moved back to the United Nations, he was asked to be the death-stopping death officer for projects in those countries. It is no surprise, therefore, as president and father of this nation, he chose, he chose to fight for peace. He chose to forgive. He taught us that we must forgive. But yes, it was not about himself. He fought to build institutions, institutions that will guarantee this nation, these people, peace and stability into posterity. He built a multi-party parliament. He guaranteed every working citizen a pension in this country. He reorganized the security services to protect the rights of every Sierra Leonean. President Kaba fought to ensure that he will integrate society, liberating us from the tyranny of war, the tyranny of everything that divided us, cultism, tribalism, and sectionalism. As Barack Obama said, as Barack Obama said, Africa does not need strong men. Africa needs strong institutions. There lies the father of Sierra Leonean institutions. May the Almighty give him safe passage. May the Almighty forgive him for his own shortcomings because he was a human being. May we who remain, may we who remain protect his democracy, protect the freedom of speech, protect the rights of all of us. Allahumma arahamahu ya rabbil alameen. Salam alaikum. Thank you very much. On the Secretary of State and Special Representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations. We will now pay rapt attention as we receive another tribute from the Madingo Jamaat. From